Good morning, my dear students. It gives me great pleasure to talk to you students through video presentations like this as usual. In this particular video presentation, we will discuss one more board type model paper. This is called uh, model paper 2. This is meant for pastoral CBSE of term, term 2. We will move on to the question directly. Just evaluate integral dx by x square plus 8x plus 15. Let me just see how we go about the answer. Integral dx by x square plus 8x plus 15 can be written as x square plus 2 into 4x plus 4 square minus 1 I can write so that this is the form, this is a perfect square in fact x plus 4 whole square minus 1 this can be written as dt by t square minus 1 where my t is x plus 4 you have formula for this 1 by t log mod t minus 1 by t plus 1 plus c this is 1 by 2 log mod x plus 4 minus 1 by x plus 4 plus 1 plus c therefore this will get reduced to 1 by 4 log mod x plus 3 plus x plus 5 plus c that will be the final answer let me just repeat once again <coughs> integral dx by x square plus 8x plus 15 is a question given to you I'll just make it as a perfect square. This is the form uh, a square plus 2ab. Instead of a, I have x. Instead of uh, b, I have 4. 2 into x into 4. Now, for add and subtract 4 square, but instead I can write 16 minus 1 is nothing but 15. Therefore, this will become x plus 4 whole square minus 1. If I replace this by x plus 4 by t, numerator becomes <coughs> sorry, dt. dt by t square minus 1. As per the formula, 1 by 2 log mod t minus 1 by t plus and use the formula integral dx by x square minus a square is 1 by 2a log mod x minus a by x plus a. 1 by 2 log mod, the final answer has to be in terms of x. x plus 4 minus 1 becomes x plus 3 in the numerator. x plus 4 plus 1 becomes x plus 5 in the denominator. I hope it is easier for anybody to follow. It's not at all difficult. It's a very simple result, simple problem. Okay, you need to just recall the relevant formula meant in integration. You need to recall the relevant formula meant for that. Okay, then second question goes like this. Solve, solve dy by dx is equal to x plus y by x. I call it, I will move on to the answer directly. This is the question. Okay. Write the given equation and name it as 1. Let f of x comma y is equal to x plus y by x. Now f of lambda x comma lambda y is equal to lambda x plus lambda y by lambda x which is equal to lambda power 0 into f of x comma y. Therefore f of x comma y is a homogeneous homogeneous function sorry I wrote it as equation homogeneous function of degree 0 homogeneous function of degree 0 in any such case I assume 1 to be therefore 1 is a homogeneous differential equation homogeneous differential equation in any such case we use the substitution y is equal to bx whenever the right hand side is in terms of f of y by x I can bring it to the form f of y by x ok you put y is equal to bx if I will bring I will be able to bring the right hand side f of x by y I will put x equal to dy that is the difference if you understand now dy by dx happens to be b plus x dv by dx therefore now 1 implies v plus x dv by dx will be is equal to x plus bx by x which implies v plus x dv by dx is equal to x into 1 plus v by x x gets cancelled v also gets cancelled 
Now for x dv by dx happens to be 1 which implies integral dv is equal to integral dx by x which implies v is equal to log x plus log c which implies y by x is equal to log cx to the base e which implies cx equal to e power yx is the right uh, yes sorry it is y by x cx equal to e power y by x is the required solution is the required solution sorry I wrote it as yx e power y by x this should be e power y by x let me just repeat the whole process once again dy by dx equal to x plus y by x is the given equation I call it as 1 take the right hand side therefore of x my y is equal to x plus y by x now for and now I replace x by lambda x y by lambda y here taking lambda as common and cancelling out I get it to be lambda for 0 into f of x comma y if I am able to bring f of lambda x comma lambda y is lambda for 0 into f of x comma y come to the conclusion f of x comma y is a homogeneous function of degree 0 in any such case I will get the equation 1 to be I assume the equation 1 to be a homogeneous differential equation every term should be of same degree that is the meaning of homogeneity homogeneous differential equation here we put y equal to vx and for dy by dx by product rule v plus x dv by dx therefore my right hand side now becomes automatically my right hand side automatically becomes see here sorry my equation 1 equation 1 automatically becomes sorry v plus x dv by dx is equal to x plus vx by x LHS LHS becomes v plus x dv by dx RHS becomes x plus vx by x taking x as common and cancelling out in the right hand side and cancelling v also I end up with x dv by dx to be 1 now for integral dv is integral dx by x v is equal to log x plus log c now for v is nothing but y by x now for y by x is equal to log cx by e now for cx is equal to e power y x y by x sorry y by x is the required sorry cx equal to e power y by x is the required general solution that is the required general solution we will just uh, move on to the next case once again we will just move on to the next possibility third question goes like this we will just move on to the next possibility or next question in fact third question it goes like this find the vector of length 10 units along the direction of a vector plus b vector plus c vector where a vector is i plus j plus k b vector is 2i minus j plus k c vector is 3i plus j plus 4k just see the question I don't want to write uh, the whole question on the board just see the question here ok just see here let me try to find a plus b plus c initially a vector plus b vector plus c vector what is a vector a is nothing but i plus j plus k i plus j plus k plus what is b vector 2i minus j plus k what is c vector 3i plus j plus 4k while you add 2, 3, 6 i, it will become 6 i. j minus j gets cancelled plus j. 2, 2 plus 4, 6 k. 6 i plus j plus 6 k. Therefore, it is as equal as the problem you might have done in lower classes. The cost of 10 apples is 1000 rupees. What is the cost of 15 apples? So, you divide by 10, which will give you, it is called the unitary method. Division by 10 gives you cost of 1 apple is 100 rupees. Now, a cost of 15 apples will be 100 into 15, 1500 rupees. You will divide by 10, which will give you the value for 1 apple. In, into 15 will give you value for 15 apples. What is the cost of 15 apples is the question given to you. Now, similarly here, required vector is equal to 10 times 6i plus j plus 6k 
divided by modulus 6i plus j plus 6k. Here, division by modulus gives you unit vector along the same direction. Now, for into 10 will give you the vector of length 10 units in the same direction. Therefore, this will become 60i plus 10j plus 60k. If I multiply 10 inside or you can leave it as it is, it is up to you to decide, it doesn't matter. Okay, therefore you mean to say 60i cap plus 10j cap plus 60k cap divided by root of 36 plus 1 plus 36. Therefore, this is automatically gets reduced to 60i plus 10j plus 60k divided by root 73. Let me just repeat the answer once again. I need to find the vector of uh, length 10 units along the direction of a vector plus b vector plus c vector. Let me find a vector plus b vector plus c vector that is a is i plus j plus k plus b is 2i minus j plus k, c is 3i plus j plus 4k. Now for 1 plus 2 plus 3 becomes 6i, i plus 2i plus 3i becomes 6i, j minus j plus j becomes j, k plus k plus 4k becomes 6k. Uh, for the required vector automatically equal to 10 times 6i plus j plus 6k divided by modulus 6i plus j plus 6k. 60i plus 10j plus 60k by root of 36 plus 1 plus 36. Uh, for 60i plus 10j plus 60k divided by root 73. That will be the final answer. That will be the final answer. I think it is not difficult. It's as equal as a simple problem which you might have done in lower classes. Okay, cost of 10 apples, what is the cost of 15 apples? Cost of 15 apples, what is the cost of 20 apples? Okay, that's the uh, one to be followed. Then, fourth question, find the vector equation of the line through 1, 4, 7 and which is parallel to 5 minus x by 3 is equal to y minus 5 by 1 is equal to z minus 7 by 6. This is the question, just to read the question if you want. This is the question, I don't want to write the question again and again on the board. It's unnecessary. Okay, just see here, given line is 5 minus x by 3 is equal to y minus 5 by 1 is equal to z minus 7 by 6. Yes, dr of the line here will be dr of the line minus 3, 1, comma 6. Therefore, dr of the required line required line is also the same minus 3 comma 1 comma 6 therefore vector equation of the required line is vector equation of the required line is r vector is equal to i plus 4j plus 7k plus lambda times minus 3i plus j plus 6k where R uh, where vector is equal to xi plus yj plus zk is the position vector of position vector of general point general point p x comma y comma z in the line in the line this is the way you are supposed to passes through 1 comma 4 comma 7 given to you. Therefore, that's the reason why I write it as i plus 4j plus 7k. Let me just repeat 5 minus 6 by 3 is equal to y minus 5 by 1 equal to z minus 7 by 6. And to bring it to the format x minus x1 by l equal to y minus y by m equal to z minus z1 by n. Therefore, bring take minus as common and bring it down. Now for dr of this line will be the denominators will give you the dr minus 3, 1, 6. dr the required line is also minus 3, 1, comma 6 minus 3 dr of the required line is also minus 3 comma 1 comma 6 because in 3D two lines are parallel if and only if they have same drs or proportional drs. Now for vector equation of the required line now becomes r vector equal i plus 4j plus 7k plus lambda times minus 3i plus j plus 6k where r vector equal xi plus yj plus zk is the position vector of general point p x y z in the line. This is the way it's being done. I hope it is uh, easier for anybody to follow. Okay, next question goes like this. Three coins are tossed. Three coins are tossed simultaneously. 
find the probability of having three heads, three coins are tossed simultaneously. Find the probability of having three heads. I'll just show you the question as usual. Just wait. Three coins are tossed simultaneously. I'll just show the question. Yes. When three coins are tossed simultaneously, sample space, how do you get the sample space? Sample space is equal to, yes is equal to, all our heads. There is uh, two heads, T, H, 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 T, H, 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 T. There is one head, H, H, T, 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 H, T, 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 H, and all of them are tails. Now for NFS here will be 8. P of having 3 heads. 3 P of having, sorry. P of having 3 heads. P of having 3 heads. Sorry, there's a correction here. Which is N of H, H, H divided by N of his, which will be is equal to 1 by 8. I repeat, when 3 coins are tossed simultaneously, Sample space will be all of them are heads. If there are two heads, T at the beginning, T in the middle, T in the third place. If there is only one head, H at the beginning, H in the middle, H in the third place, and all of them are tails. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. N of H is 8. Now for P of having uh, three heads will be N of H, H, H by N of H, which is nothing but 1 by 8, which is nothing but 1 by 8. Then next question goes like this. Next question goes like this. Okay, problem number 6 anyway. A family has two children. Find the conditional probability of both are boys provided second child is a boy. Just see the question. This is the question given to you. This is the question. Okay, just see here. When uh, sample space here automatically is equal to will be is equal to both are boys BG, first child is a boy, second is a girl. GB, first is a girl, second is a boy. And uh, uh, both are girls. Sorry, I wrote G, 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 B again. Both are girls. B represents boy, G represents girl. Okay, therefore N of S is equal to 4. Okay, let A be the event of, let A be the event of having both are boys. Okay. Therefore, A will have elements E, B. Let B be the event of second child. Second child to be a boy. Therefore, B has elements B, B and G, B. Okay. Now, Required probability, just see here. Okay, uh, you name it as B1, you call it as A1 here. Just for the sake of because B is meant for B here also, B I should not use. Okay, I call it as A1 here also. Now, a required probability is equal to a required probability is equal to P of a1 bar B1. See here, this is called the conditional probability. Probability of what is given? Conditional probability of both are boys. That is my numerator. Provided the second child is a boy. Therefore, A1 by B1, which is P of A1 intersection B1 divided by okay, P of B1. That is a formula to be followed. Now, what is A1 intersection B1? Only BB. There is only one element here. Okay, this is 1 by 4 divided by this is 2 by 4. For my answer is 1 by 2. If you want, you can even write A1 intersection B1 here as you can write it down once again. There is only one common element. BB is the only common element. Therefore, it is nothing but 1 by 4. N of A1 intersection B1 by N of S is nothing but 1 by 4. I repeat the whole process. There are two children in a family. Therefore, sample space will be both are boys. First child is a boy, second is a girl. First is a girl, second is a boy. Both are girls. The NFS is supposed to be 4. 
Now let A1 be the event of having both our boys. I took it as A initially, but I am not supposed to use B here. Therefore, I change it here again A1, here again B1. A1 has BB, element BB. B1 be the event of having second child to be a boy. Therefore, BB, GB. This is how it is supposed to be. The required probability is we have A1 by B1. That is, the conditional probability of both our boys, provided second child is a boy. Therefore, P of A1 intersection B1 by P of B1. Is the n of a1 intersection b1? What is the intersection? Only bv. Of 1 by 4 by 2 by 4. Answer is 1 by 2. Answer happens to be 1 by 2. This uh, finishes the first, I mean, section of this particular paper. Uh, share the videos with your friends. You can advise them to subscribe by clicking subscribe button and the bell icon. And uh, subscription has no charges. Thank you, students, for patient watching this. Uh, I remember telling uh, the first question. 1 by 2 log mod t minus by t plus 1. In one place I wrote, said as 1 by 4. It is not 1 by 4, it is 1 by 2. Just it's a small correction. Thank you students.